Hello, how's it going? I am going to give you a brief overview on how to use the GLTF exporter that was released on April 22nd for Unreal Engine. Step one would be to go to unrealengine.com and download Unreal Engine. After you've got that installed for the latest version, uh, I would recommend 4.26. This also works on 4.25. Then go over into your Epic Games Marketplace and click on the free section. You'll see they just added this GLTF exporter. It is free. Click on it. It will say free here. I've already installed it to 4.26. It has an excellent set of instructions, very easy to use, and I'll go over that and how to use it. You can export from the content browser, you can export from your current level, and there is a really excellent documentation about what can be exported and how to export. It goes over materials, meshes, animations, level sequences, actors, components, textures, uh, it's extremely useful. I'll give that a read. So I have this very, very basic level, and I have attacking dog and a low poly cat. Both of these assets are also available for free on the marketplace. Every month they give away free assets. So if you go to free, free for the month, I've got this German Shepherd and a low poly cat. Okay, so I want my GLTF. Easiest thing to do is drag what you would like to have exported into your scene. I've already dragged in the animations that I want. Simple as clicking on the dog, file, export selected, save type as. This is important. A GL transmission format binary. I already have saved it as aggressive attack, aggressive bite, and kitty sit. Save it again. You're then going to be presented with this GLTF binary export option. Um, I started messing around with a lot of the settings and actually broke it and I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't work anymore. If that happens to you, hit this reset to default button. Okay, so I've got it on the defaults and the defaults work quite well. One thing I just want you to be aware of, if you are exporting an animation, the tooltip, if enabled, export single animation asset used by skeletal mesh component or hotspot actor, export of vertex skin weights must be enabled. So you can see that I have export vertex skin weights. So in order to have an animation work properly, make sure that that is turned on to true. I experimented with various material bake sizes and depending on the mesh and the level of detail, you might have to go as low as 128 or 64 by 64. I found some of the other assets I exported would not work um, at a higher resolution for uploading them to clean NFT sites such as Hick, Hick et Nook. So let's give this an export. Boom, happened really fast. Now when I go over into my folder here and click on my export, here we go. We've got our attacking dog. I've also got my low poly cat. Go back to Hick et Nunc, or Hen as I refer to it, then you can see I've already got some of these samurai armors uploaded and they're working properly. So let's try and mint one now. Alright, 
so kitty sitting low poly cat for you digital kitty free gltf 100 editions no royalties you can grab this if you want it so you have to have 10 10 percent of zero is still zero we've got this little cat objects OBJKT minted successfully great let's check out and see if it is in our assets manage assets here we go cats then go ahead and grab one I'll leave the link in the description and you can download it and add to your collection thanks for watching bye now